Welcome to A to Z of Economics. Today let's discuss what is inequality in economics. In simple terms inequality means the gap between the rich and the poor. It refers to how unevenly money, wealth, or opportunities are distributed in a country or society. Imagine 10 people living in a society. If everyone earns 10,000 pounds per month, there's no inequality. But if one person earns one lakh pounds, while the other nine earn just 5,000, that's high inequality. So, inequality isn't about poverty alone, it's about the difference between the top and the rest. How is inequality measured? First, the Gini coefficient. This is a number between zero and one. Zero means perfect equality, where everyone has the same income. One means perfect inequality, where one person has all the income. For example, Sweden may have a Gini coefficient of around 0.25, which is more equal. South Africa may have around 0.63, which is high inequality. Second, the income share of the top percent. Economists often look at how much of a country's income or wealth is taken by the top 1% or the top 10%. For instance, if the top 1% owns 40% of all wealth, it shows a very unequal society. Now, let's talk about the Kuznets curve, a theory of inequality. Economist Simon Kuznets suggested this idea in the 1950s. As a country starts developing or industrializing, inequality increases. But once the economy matures, inequality starts decreasing. Why? At first, cities grow faster than villages, creating gaps. But later, education, taxes, and government welfare reduce the gap. Think of it like an inverted U-shape, inequality rises, then falls. This seemed true for many developed countries between 1940 and 1980, a period called the Great Compression, when income gaps shrank. But what happened after 1980? In many countries, especially the United States and the United Kingdom, inequality started to increase again. This was due to globalization as factories moved to low-wage countries, technology that helped skilled workers more than unskilled ones, weaker labor unions, and tax cuts that helped the rich. So, the Kuznets curve doesn't fully explain today's trends. Now, many rich countries are struggling with growing inequality again. Why does inequality matter? Too much inequality can create social unrest, reduce economic growth, and limit access to education and health. But some inequality can be natural. It can reward talent, hard work, and innovation. What do economists debate? How much inequality is acceptable? Which policies can reduce inequality without harming the economy? Higher taxes on the rich? Better education and health care? Raising minimum wages? 